All right, back again with another round of website reviews, uh, but we're doing this one with a little bit of a twist this time. So I had you guys submit your websites to be considered uh, for me to go over. This time, what I wanna focus on is what I always talk about this part. It is the most important piece of any website. It's on the homepage and it is the hero section. Right up top, it has a lot of heavy lifting to do. It has to basically communicate three things, okay? What do you do? Why does that matter to your clients? And what do I have to do to get the ball rolling? Um, and I'm gonna throw in a fourth criteria as well, which is basically, is the image you're using helping tell that story? Or is it just kind of, um, is it confusing? Is it not really hitting the mark? So anyway, we've got five websites to look at today, specifically their hero sections. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of determine if it's hitting all four points and where it's falling short. And then finally, for each one, I've basically come up with a mock-up of maybe a better way of doing it, how to really hit home all four points. So anyway, let's get right into it. So the first one that we're going to look at today is uh, theconcretemakeover.com. So let's go check out what they've got. Okay, so here is the Concrete Makeover's homepage. And this is what I would consider to be the hero section right up top. So we've got kind of an image slider. And the only text I'm seeing is, get a detailed quote from the Concrete Makeover now. So basically, let's go through this checklist of things. So basically, um, what do they do? Is it immediately clear what they do? So, I mean, I would say just from the name Concrete Makeover, we kind of get half the story. But the problem I'm seeing is, because I've dug a little deeper on the website to see, if you go down, they do all these kinds of stamped overlays, um, decorative concrete, that kind of thing, uh, which really, like this kind of stuff, which really makes them stand apart. But if you look at the top, all we're really seeing, this is like a garage floor. This is kind of a, it's just, it's blue. So I feel like we're getting a little bit of what you do, but not completely. So I would say we don't really hit the mark there. We definitely don't get the why it matters. Um, and I'd say the only thing we're doing a really great job on is letting people know what they have to do next, which is to get a detailed quote and you click the button, you get your estimate. So um, how could we do better with this one. Let's go check it out. So how about this instead? So rather than just telling people to get a quote, we're telling them exactly what you do, which is turning ugly concrete into a work of art. And then it goes into a little bit more detail saying our decorative concrete stamping and finishes will transform your floor into a beautiful, durable surface at a fraction of the cost. So we're giving them reasons. It's a beautiful, durable floor at a fraction of the cost. So that's a really good way of letting people know not only what you do, but why they would want such a thing, right? And any time that you can emphasize a transformation that you're making rather than just telling people what you do, that's always good for, you know, 55 bonus points right there. And then we've got a bold button here to get your free estimate. And what I've done here too is I've, this is obviously not a photo from them, um, but what it does is it kind of, I think it tells a story of um, the kinds of work you do. So this is basically, we're not just talking garage floors here. We're talking um, floors that are meant to be decorative and beautiful in your home. So I think this does a better job right off the bat than this one um, on all four accounts. So thanks for submitting that one and I hope you can take some of these suggestions and run with them. All right, so our next website is realcounselinginc.com. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on in this hero. So right off the bat, we've got uh, a headline here, a subheadline, and then a whole bunch of text right here and a button and an image over here. So right away, there is a lot going on here. So Let's just, let's just check off our list here and see if we know exactly what they do. It says we provide counseling and consultation to Texas professionals. Um, and when you read all of this text, it gives a little bit more context, but I'm still not 100% sure what it is you offer. Is this therapy? Is it like talk therapy? Is it um, the support groups? I'm not exactly sure. So I think there's a little bit of work to be done to really solidify that. And the why. 
So, I, I mean, this is one of those cases where you can kind of see, so it's, um, you know, it might feel like loss of motivation, fatigue, depression. So, you know, I can kind of piece together that the why is it's going to eliminate these feelings, which is a good thing. But generally, you want to come right out and say it. You know, you want to give people that concrete benefit to working with you. And how? So we've got the get started button. So good job on that. We've got that. Um, I would say, though, generally a call to action should be a little bit more concrete than get started. It should be get a consultation, schedule an appointment, that kind of thing. Because if I see get started, I'm not exactly sure what's entitled, what's entailed with getting started. Is it uh, giving you a call? Is it filling something out? And then maybe you'll get back to me later. So I think it's it's better to be much more direct about it. And the last thing is the image. So we've got an image here, which I think it does a good job of, of telling the story. Um, it's a little, um, it, it's it's kind of borderline. You know, there are certain images I like to use and certain I don't like to use. Um, some can kind of come off as a little on the cheesy side. I think this one does a fairly good job. It's not It's not what I would call super cheesy. Is it a little unnatural? Yes. Um, but I think it, it does a good job telling the story. So I, I'll let that one slide. I think it's not a bad shot. But let's see what I've come up with for real counseling. All right, so basically what I've done is I've really sim simplified the messaging from all those, you know, the, remember we had the headline, subheadline, and like three little sentences of text underneath it. I've really simplified it to stop professional burnout and take back your life. I provide counseling to Texas professionals in four sessions to help you banish stress, communicate effectively, and thrive personally and professionally. So I think what we've done is I've basically taken this text and I found you know some extra text down below that basically told me that you, you generally do work in four sessions with somebody. So I think that's important to communicate so people know exactly what they're getting. And I think right away, it says what you do. I provide counseling to Texas professionals in four sessions. Um, and, it, and it says why that matters. You know, you want to stop professional burnout and take back your life so you can do all of these things personally and professionally. Um, and then I've changed the get started call to action to get your free consultation. It's just much more clear. And in terms of images, what I've done is, I mean, this is kind of a personal judgment call. I've just made kind of a, a slideshow behind it of a few different people, because sometimes it's hard to choose just one avatar. Like, it's like, do I choose a man or a woman? Who do I put in there? So in this case, you can kind of have the best of both worlds and choose a few images that really uh, help to tell your story. So if you were to... Uh, simplify your messaging like this, I think you might see an uptick in your uh, your patients that you see. Okay, so our next one we're going to take a look at is Mandy Irby, the birth nurse. So let's go ahead and check out what she's got. So here is her hero section, and it says, the birth nurse, the obstacles you've overcome are your secret weapons in labor and in life. So there's a lot to talk about here. Um, the birth, I, I think I kind of get what you do just by saying the birth nurse. I'm kind of understanding that. Me, I'm, I've obviously, you know, I've never been pregnant. I've never, you know, been part of that process. So I don't know exactly what a birth nurse does necessarily. So I think we might want a little bit more context around that. And I'm the obstacles you've overcome, like this section right here, I'm sure that means a lot to you. And I'm sure you could communicate that with people once they talk to you. I'm not sure coming here for the first time that I know what that means. So what I've done is I basically took a look at the rest of your page to kind of see what it is that you're all about to really simplify your messaging for your hero. And then, um, and then the next thing we have are, it's the image. So basically you've got a slideshow back here. Um, I think some of these photos work like this, the one where it's just kind of the black and white photo of the woman who's pregnant. I think it doesn't go with the rest of them. I like the pictures that are kind of in your workspace. I think those are fine. Um, I, I especially like the, the group shot of uh, the, the different people in your class. I think that one works really well. And the next thing is, uh, is the call to action birth boldly. So again, I mean, it's, 
I would put that under the category of it's clever, but it doesn't necessarily tell the story of exactly what's going to happen. So um, I think there's room for a little more clarity there. I always say when you're faced with the, the dilemma of do I go for clever or do I go for clear, you generally want to go for clear every time. It's just... Um, it, it ends up working much better. People, if they get confused, they tend to freeze up and not do anything. So let's go ahead and check out what I've done here. Basically, I've, I've redone this and I've taken content from uh, the rest of the site to say, childbirth can and should be a positive experience. As the birth nurse, and by the way, I got this directly from your site, I didn't make it up. So um, I just think this is a better place to put it right up, right at the top. As the birth nurse, I help scared pregnant people have a kick-ass birth experience where they're in the driver's seat. I found that, um, I think like down at the bottom of your website, right down here. And I think that's like such a great thing because it really tells people exactly what you're going to do for them. So I love it. And I know that you offer classes. That's kind of what you do. So rather than say birth boldly, I just change it to explore classes. And I just use this image of you because I, while I don't normally advocate for putting a picture of yourself in the hero, I think it's okay when you're a personal brand. Um, in this case, you are the birth nurse. Like it's your, the branding is your name. So I think it's okay um, to do that here. What I might see instead, what I might actually like to test would be one of those images with you and your the, the whole class of people involved where you're kind of leading it and they're in the shot as well. All right, next up we have sorrow dog training. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the, the hero section that we've got going on here. So let's go through our checklist. We've got what, do we know what he does? It's, well, first of all, I kind of want to take a step back here just to kind of show what we've got going on here because it's it's a lot. So we've got the logo, then we've got kind of a tagline headline with a sub subtitle underneath that. Then we've got another headline and then we've got this image with another headline and subheadline on top of that. So again, there's a lot going on here. So let's see what we can do to simplify. So do we know what he does? Dog training without the use of treats, aversive tools, force, or domination. Great. Again, we've got uh, without the use of treats. Um, so what my question would be when I first saw that is why? Why shouldn't we not? Why should we not use treats when we're training our dogs? Like I remember when I was training mine. He's still not very well trained. I could probably use you, but um, I definitely used treats in order for the positive reinforcement. So my question coming to your site is, why is that important? So, and it's not really clear here. Um, and then the, the next part is, what do people need to do to get started with you? Um, we've got free training, which is okay. Um, I would probably say, you know, get your free training or something, because I don't, I don't know if that means like I'm coming in to take a class for free, or if it's a video training give a little bit more clarity on that. And then we've got, we kind of have an image, but it's way down here. Like you have to scroll down to see it. So, um, but it's, it's a cute image. I really, I, I like the picture. So just a matter of bringing it more up top and I think you'll be good, but let's see the version that I created for you. Okay. So what I've simplified this to is 100% healthy dog training with proven results. I help dog owners build the best and healthiest relationship with their dogs using a unique method of dog training that doesn't rely on the use of treats, which can lead to long-term health issues, force or domination. So what I've done, is I've, we've said exactly what you do and why, why that matters. So um, it basically says why treats are a bad thing and then force and domination people can pretty much do the math on that themselves. Like that obviously sounds like a bad thing. So, and then I've just said, um, get the free training as the call to action. So um, you might want to even make it more clear, get the free video training, come in for a free class, that kind of thing. So, and then I've just chosen an image. It's, I mean, I would have just gone with the same one you have, uh, but I couldn't find it. So I just found another one that kind of says it and just playful, bright colors. I think that's good for your branding. So anyway, um, 
I think this just does a better story of telling people um, exactly why they would want to go with Usaro. All right, next we have Concourse Auto Salon. So let's take a look at their hero section. So we've got, let's see, we, we have a nice big image in the background, um, a lot of space being taken up by the logo right here twice, something I generally don't like to see in a hero section. This is where that goes, right up in the top left generally. Like I don't think the hero section is so important and it has to communicate so many things. The last thing you want to do is take up all that space with your logo. It just doesn't uh, it doesn't really help anybody. It doesn't help uh, anybody make a decision. It doesn't help you. So anyway, right underneath that we have never pay to have your car waxed again and then find out here. So let's see, what, what exactly do you do? I'm not exactly sure, uh, but this is a rare case where I, I, I see the why, but not the what. Normally it's the other way around. Like people will say what they do, but you won't know why it matters. Here, I get the why. The why is so you never have to get your car waxed again. But I'm when I first saw this, I was like, how is that possible? What does he do? Like, is he, is it like a, a lifetime waxing membership? So you just never have to pay for it again. Uh, what exactly is it? So I did a little digging on the site and I had to find out by going a little lower. So, and then we've got the call to action, find out here. I don't love that um, just because the, the call to action should never be like learn more, find out more. That's really passive. So what you want to do instead is really, again, give them that, um, that next step forward, which is not learning more, but it's set, setting something up, scheduling something, calling you, that kind of thing to really uh, get things going in the right direction. And the image I think is fine. It's, it's a nice looking car. Uh, so I think it, it does a good job of selling the idea and enhancing the idea. But I think we can do a little bit better and make it more clear. So let's go ahead and take a look at the version I came up with. Okay, so never wax your car again. Paint protection services for a long lasting maintenance free finish. So what I've done here is I've kind of flipped things around to where I've led with the why and I backed it up with more of facts that kind of basically tell what you do, which is another good way to do it. You don't always have to start with what you do and then why. You can start with the big benefit and then give more clarification on how you achieve that for your clients, right? So, because this is a good promise, never wax your car again. Who wouldn't love a car that you never have to wax again? But then, you don't just leave them in the dark thinking, well, how does that work? You tell them, you know, it's paint protection services for a long lasting maintenance refinish. And then I made it a call to action button of get a quote. So it's basically, it's more actionable rather than just find out more. And then, you know, this is a judgment call. I just put a, and I thought it was a good idea uh, or good use rather for a video background. So feel free to uh, use something like that. I've, you have to have the rights to it, of course. It has to be something you shoot or negotiate to be able to use. So, so I hope this gives you some really good ideas of maybe where your hero section might be falling short and some ways to spruce it up and really let people know exactly why they wanna work with you and how they can do it. So uh, speaking of which, if you need my help with any of this stuff one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer 60-minute kickstart consultation calls, basically coaching calls where I can talk with you either on Google Hangouts or on the phone and really look at what's going on in your website with you, offering suggestions, improvements, that kind of thing for, doesn't have to be just your hero section, your entire website, digital marketing, anything that I talk about here on this channel. So if you want to get going, just click this link right up here or go to westmcdowell.com slash kickstart to schedule your 60 minute call uh, just between you and me. So, so schedule your call today and I will talk to you very soon. Bye for now.